so assalamu alaikum have a good day so we are in strategic final level case study so today we are also within the module one financial information analysis and within financial uh, information analysis uh, as in within the case study we have uh, short analysis economic value added eva porter's five force model based analysis a smart goal business valuation set the different types of item within the um, case study based analysis you know based political factors economic factors social factors and technological factors as uh, this is the based analysis and uh, here is the uh, give with what is political factor political factor means government policy political stability corruption foreign trade policy tax policy labor law trade uh, restriction for example if you uh, want to establish a business in a country um, for example another country if their tax rate is low then you will very much happy analysis we can say political government etc and environmental economical and and we have seen here social factors there are a lot of thing uh, population growth age restriction uh, it's the career uh, attitude and then technology and uh, technology based industry tech automation etc that type of force uh, here uh, pest analysis that how pest analysis work a pest analysis is a framework of tool used to markets and analyze and monitor the macro environment external market environment factors that have an impact on an organization so that type of uh, factor how effect with the organization the result of which use identified trade and weakness which also is the part of short analysis so here we have seen uh, pest analysis here uh, if we see the social factor here uh, look here political factor we have seen uh, political is also government factor uh, tax policy of the country stability of the government and a government expenditure level foreign trade regulation and interest uh, um, that means banking system etc also a part of that economic factor social factor technological factor environmental factor, legal factor etc et so here is the best item and now if we see a smart or goal uh, that means a uh, smart means a specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound it's mean smart a smart mean it a specific hote hobe ami jetai kori jetai siddhanto nei it should be specific it should be measurable countable measure kora jabe attainable eta shombhob hobe ekhon jodi ami boli je chader ek katha jomi apni bikri korben apnar theke ami kinbo seta kintu attainable na eta kora shombhob na kokhonoi hobe na then holo relevant eta somprikto hote hobe ebong and time bound the specific period of time so the uh, smart that means uh, that goal is specific and that is significant strength etc so here is uh, describing everything uh, specific means state exactly what you want to accomplish who will do it what will do it where will do it and why will do it is a specific measurable how will you demonstrate and evaluate the extent which the goal has been met that we, if we do that what will happen that would be measurable achievable strength and challenge uh, challenging the goal with an ability to achieve outcome what is the action oriented part then holo that was here, here what is action oriented that means achievable eta korte hobe eta kora jabe korte hobe relevant how does the goal tie in the key responsibility how it is aligned with the objective for example is a reliability that means if you think that uh, you are um, your garments business and now you want um, start another business for example apni plane er ba year byabsha shuru korlen onno ekta byabsha shuru korlen jeta apnar etar sathe relevant na tar phole oi khane kintu apnar bhul bhranti hote pare karon oi ta porikkhito na tokhon kintu oi khane apni kintu 
ডুববে এবং এইগুলা দেখেন আমি তো কোডাক কোডাক যে আমার ফিল্ম এরিয়া দেখেন এখন কিন্তু কেউ ওই ছবি ওই যে ক্যামেরাও কিনে না ইয়া করে না এক মোবাইলেই সব এক মোবাইলের ভিতরে সব পুরো কম্পিউটার হলো মোবাইলের ভিতরে এই যে আস্তে আস্তে যে যে টেকনোলজিকে যদি অ্যাকসেপ্ট করে না নেওয়া হয় এবং নতুন নতুন চিন্তা যদি না ঢোকা হয় মার্কেটে থাকা যাবে না এবং এই যে রিলেভেন্ট হতে হবে যেটা আমরা বললাম এখানে বলতে হচ্ছে হাউ ডাজ দ্য গোল is tie into key responsibilities how it is aligned with the objectives the organization er je objective ache tar sathe koto tuku how mane koto tuku tar relevant koto tuku iya bole oi tar sathe align kore cholte pare time bound set one or more target date by when that means what we, we have to do based on the target based on the time within we have to finish within that time so this is the time bound and uh, so this is the smart smart we have also a specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound and if we see some valuation so what is valuation we know the business valuation other valuation a share valuation different types of valuation we require in different ways the business valuation is the process by which the economic growth of a company is determined so uh, here different types of when valuation required so uh, also in, within the case study uh, sometimes we the types of question also uh, valuation business valuation also sometimes merger uh, acquisition and as uh, if uh, company x want to um, purchase or acquire company y so how much exchange rate would be that means uh, uh, through the share through the cash different types of item can be happen so here uh, when But that means why would we need a business valuation uh, when we that means there are handful of common reason for business valuation when looking to sell the business that time you need to valuation uh, need to value the business when looking to merge or acquire another company then we have to value the organization when looking for business financing or investors then you have to business valuation for example if you go for a bank uh, for a loan purpose and other thing uh, sometimes um, banks are giving loan uh, through the collateral and sometimes some uh, corporate grantors so what is corporate grant corporate grant is that your uh, all from your companies organizations uh, equity and uh, the owner of the shareholder minus all liability that how much money you have and that amount 80% you can be give uh, corporate grant so it is also the flotation uh, charge uh, through the uh, and also that type of reporting also cib also central bank so corp that time need the uh, uh, in, in for investing purpose for taking loan from the uh, that is investor that time need the valuation of the organization when establishing partner ownership percentage that need the valuation and when adding shareholder for example uh, a private company husband wife uh, son daughter four are the uh, shareholder and what uh, from uh, five or six years ago established the company and running on at this moment if any if, uh, add another person as a shareholder so that value have to calculate previously when your share value is at 100 taka but now this is not the 100 taka because you have the economic value add within the organization your wealth can increase so have to determine new valuation and through the new valuation divided by number of share then uh, each and every share can be your recalculate and which uh, from 100 to it can be 500 so what would be happen your with that 500 400 it is your uh, share premium but share value 100 taka but if it uh, that means if you give any uh, investor come your organization or uh, your uh, business and uh, if uh, you determine 500 taka per share 100 taka face value but he have he or she have to pay 500 taka each and every share of that company that 400 is your uh, share premium so premium, that, premium. yeah yeah 
so they, that then we need the valuation and when adding shareholder for ekhane bolche divorce processing mane ki kono jokhon kono shareholder ke apni bad diye diben kono shareholder jodi chole jete chay ekta partnership form korchen ba private e korche she chole jete chay tese tar share ne and we know a private company cannot offer share you know that the company value uh, private company or uh, what is private company private company to and less than 50 shareholder is the private company and what is public company seven and up to uh, the number of share they have joto hai 50 se upar 100 se 500 jab for certain tax purpose set a valuation kara hoye ki bujhan so business valuation uh, method hai amra we have seen business valuation method there are asset based valuation income based sometimes comparable and asset based is book value method adjusted net asset method replacement method and liquidation method to so, valuation ni sir ekta question sir valuation ta ashole eta valuation ta thik moto hocche ki na eta ashole dekhbhal korar kono authority bangladesh e ki ache sir na na ekhane nai valuation je je jemne khushi kore na ta kore ki to method ache method gula ke apply kore ei jemon mon kore security access commission jokhon apni je notun ekta company jokhon ipo te ashbe তার শেয়ার ভ্যালুয়েশন কিভাবে করে হ্যাঁ আপনারা যদি দেখেন যে একটা প্রসপেক্টাস যদি দেখেন আপনারা হয়তো দেখার সুযোগ দেখেন নাই প্রসপেক্টাসে কিন্তু আছে যে কোন কোন মেথড ফলো করছে ওইখানে নরমালি তিন চারটা মেথড ফলো করে পরে এভারেজ করে ফেলে তাহলে কোনো আর গ্যাপ থাকে না যে আপনি বিভিন্ন ব্যক্তিতে এটা হিসাব করা হয় এই যে অ্যাসেট বেস করবে ইনকাম বেস করবে তারপরে তার মার্কেটের ইয়ে অনুযায়ী বেস করবে বিভিন্ন রকম হিসাব করে তার সমজাতীয় ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে কি আছে বিভিন্ন হিসাব করে তারপরে এটা এভারেজ করা হয় আপনারা যদি কখনো দেখেন ওইখানে কিন্তু এটা লেখা থাকে এটা দেখেন কখনো একটা প্রসপেক্টাস ই হলে আর যেমন ওই যে আমরা যখন এই লিস্টেড কোম্পানির ব্যালেন্স শীট দেখি জি জি তখন ওখানে রিভ্যালুয়েশন রিজার্ভ নামে একটা জায়গায় অনেক মান টাকা দেওয়া থাকে এটা কত কত আর এটাকে রিভ্যালুট করছে আর এগুলা এখন আস্তে আস্তে সবগুলি ই আসবে কারা দেখবে আমাদের এফআরসি দেখবে বুঝছেন ফিনান্সিয়াল রিপোর্টিং কাউন্সিল उटस्टैंडिंग net asset value per share calculate that's why it's also a price sensitive information uh, for listed company there are two main way to approach asset based business valuation one is going concern approach another liquidation value approach so business that plan to continue to operation and not immediately sell asset should be the going concern approach গোয়িং কনসার্ন মানে এটা ধরে নেওয়া হয় যে এটা আজীবন চলতে থাকবে কারণ বিজনেস হ্যাভ দ্য সেপারেট এন্টিটি অ্যাসেট বেসড বিজনেস ভ্যালুয়েশন দিস ফর্মুলা টেক্স ইনটু অ্যাকাউন্ট ফর বিজনেস কারেন্ট টোটাল ইকুইটি মাইনাস ইট নেটওয়ার্ক ওয়ার্স অ্যাসেট মাইনাস লায়াবিলিটি এন্ড লিকুইডেশন বেসড এ লিকুইডেশন ভ্যালু বেসড ভ্যালু অ্যাসেট বেসড অ্যাপ্রোচ টু ভ্যালুয়েশন ইজ বেসড অন দা অ্যাজাম্পশন that the business is finished that is asset will be liquidated so this there do difference way so here asset based valuation is one problem here look here the summary of a statement of financial position of a company non current asset here land plant motor vehicle and goodwill 20000 this is the and so non current asset is 2 lakh 60000 dollar goodwill 20000 current asset inventory receivable short term and cash total 1 lakh 60000 so here 4 lakh 40000 is total asset same way 4 lakh 40000 is total liability and owners equity so here equity and liability here ordinary share owners equity here uh, equity ordinary share uh, per dollar so 80 reserve 140 preference so look here this reserve is a real owner is equity holder 
So this is the uh, th this one lakh forty thousand is real owner is ordinary shareholder. He is the real owner of the organization. And preferential look here, though is a share, but four point five percent, nine percent. So it's also nature of debt. Have to pay the dividend of four point nine percent. So here fifty thousand total two lakh seven thousand. And non current as a twelve percent lo uh, loan note sixty defer taxation. Total 70. Current liability payable, taxation, tax payable, current year, proposed ordinary dividend, etc. Here, current liability. So, total, this is that. What is the value of the ordinary share using the net asset base on valuation? So, it's the requirement. What is the value of an ordinary share using the net asset basis of valuation? So, if we see here, if the figure given the asset base not uh, question the value would as the follows look here total value of asset less current liability so here total value of asset here total asset is total lakh <laughs> 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 current liability is a 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 a who belongs the reserve, sir? Normally, equity shareholder belongs the reserve. Yeah. So, I can to after share to equity holder. Yes, as a car, a right to equity holder. I can to only car. Okay, as been at it a reserve to it a bit. Yeah, that back on what on all the apni decay and amar jetu accounting equation on a jay total asset equal to liability and owner's equity. The ultimate kind of apni jeva be koren apna kind of balance as to say. Eater vitori oida with the jup to asse. Apni jodi onno ba bi chinda koren dhaman dekben. Eater vitori o is a yata apni jada bolta sense eita ek lakh cholish kota asse. Oida kind of eita vitro jup to asse. Karon amra jani total asset equal to amra jay accounting equation amra jeksi total asset equal to total liability plus owner's equity. The ultimate kind of oita ka eita with the jup to asse. Ekhon ekhon theke artificial item. Intensible asset zera goodwill sheta minus. Can eta lo value nai. Tar par holo total value of asset less current liability hotse three lakh bish hazar. Ethe ka apni minus korte ki ki korte hobe. Preference share er age as a preference share five hundred thousand. Eta minus korte. Aaj is sir. Je minus. Prab. যার মালিক হচ্ছে ইকুইটি হোল্ডার এবং সেটাকে নাম্বার অফ শেয়ার দেওয়া তাহলে কি হলো হলো এটা তো লাইবিলিটি মতো লাইবিলিটি স্যার শেয়ার হলেও লাইবিলিটি অতএব এটা হচ্ছে হ্যাঁ আর হচ্ছে লোন এই যে লোন নিছে আপনি so number of share here we have uh, received uh, number of share is 80000 because per share value is 1 dollar so 80000 number of share if we divide number of share through uh, 2 lakh net asset value of equity divided by number of share 80000 then we will get value per share is 2.50 dollar though its face value is 1 dollar Look here is the one dollar, but when we calculate it is that's a valuation, then per share value is two point five zero dollar. 
So another one is anyway. valuation, market value valuation method, based on market value. So here the market value, uh, business valuation formula, and part have the most uh, subjective approach to measuring a business worth. Is saying that market value valuation based on market value. This method determine the value of the business by comparing to a similar business that they have sold. So here, if you see that, if you are quoted company, that means listed company, uh, you can easily calculate the value of the organization. For example, at this moment, based on market value, at this moment, if the share uh, selling in Taka 20 per share, 10 taka share part 20 and 20 multiply by number of share that was number of share outstanding and that was uh, listed so uh, outstanding so that's the we can easily calculate the failures uh, through the listed company same way the private company how we will determine so if no uh, that type of uh, uh, that means a uh, similar companies company amra তখন ওইভাবে আমরা হিসাব করে নাও হয় যে ভ্যালু আসা যদিও এটা কিন্তু এই ভ্যালু ফেয়ার ভ্যালু মেজারমেন্টের জন্য ইন্টারন্যাশনাল অ্যাকাউন্টিং স্ট্যান্ডার্ড 13 আছে আইএফআরএস 13 ভ্যালুয়েশনের জন্য ওখানে ফেয়ার ভ্যালু মেজারমেন্ট করার জন্য আইএফআরএস 13 আছে ওখানে অনেক কিছু নিয়ম কানুন আছে অনেকগুলো ধাপ আছে আপনারা সুযোগ থাকলে দেখেন দ্যাটস ওয়াই এন্ড অ্যানাদার হ্যাভ একটা ওয়েবসাইট আছে সিলভিয়ার আগে নাম ছিল আইএফআরএস বক্স এখন সম্ভবত আইএফআরএস সিপিডি না কি জানি নাম তো সিলভিয়া নাম দিয়ে দেখলে ওখানে ওর ভিডিওতে এই জিনিসগুলো সুন্দর করে ইয়া করা আছে এগুলো ফাঁকে ফাঁকে দেখেন দেখলে জিনিসগুলো কনসেপ্টগুলো পরিষ্কার হবে কিভাবে ভ্যালুয়েশন করে আইএফআরএস এর অনুযায়ী স্ট্যান্ডার্ড অনুযায়ী সো হিয়ার মার্কেট ভ্যালু ভ্যালু ভ্যালুয়েশন फ्रॉम द ফলোইং ইনফরমেশন দ্য থ্রি গ্রোসিয়াস স্টোরস দ্যাট मींस ইফ আই লিমিটেড ইফ আই ফর থ্রি থ্রি কোম্পানি FYR Limited, FYR Food Limited, and FYR Corporation Limited. Compute the market value of the business. So here, look here, company, three company, FYR Limited, P ratio 10.8. P means price earning ratio. FYR Food Limited, 9.9% P ratio. If we are corporation limited 10%, the sum total of the post tax earning of the above mentioned companies are 10 lakh. So uh, three companies post tax, post tax earnings, that means earnings after tax, 10 lakh. So what would be the value? Look here. If I limited uh, 3P food corporation, so here, average P ratio is 10.23. So just adding 3 P divided by 3, then we will get average P ratio. So since post-tax earnings or price now earning after tax, the above mentioned companies total 10 lakh. Its market value would be estimated 10 lakh multiplied by 10.2 three times that means look here one crore two lakh thirty thousand so market value of three companies is here this one and you can segregate in three item also so here uh, based on the ratio oh yeah no share is not mentioning here so here total value of three co market value is one crore two lakh thirty thousand based on market value uh, because P ratio is come from the market below. Another P ratio method. If I wish to make it taken over, share of unquoted company. We know uh, what is unquoted company. The company not listed with a stock exchange. You cannot quote. You cannot quote for buying or selling the share. Is the unquoted. So M3. The earnings of M3 over past five years that is earning is from 16 to 20 is earning is this way uh, in the year 20, uh, 2016, 50,000 in the year 20, it was 75,000. The average P ratio of quoted companies in the industry. So look here, 
at that same industry quoted price is the which M3 operate or that company operate uh, it is 4 uh, 10 quoted companies which is similar in many respect of M3 just similar of that company so BM4 which uh, another company ratio is 15 but the company was very good growth prospectus and WM5 which has had a poor profit record and several year and has P ratio 7. So what is uh, our requirement? What would be a suitable range of valuation for the share of M3? This is uh, FIR wish to take M3 another company. But M3 is not quoted, not listed. So M3 five years financial figure is here. And M3 uh, P ratio is another quoted company just similar is 10. So here uh, uh, item on A, B, two item. So A, earnings. Average earnings over last five years have been at so average earning of M3, uh, if, if we add five years earning divided by five, then we will get average 67,200. And over the last four years, that means here five years and last four years, one, two, three, four, that means 20, 19, 18, 17, average is 17,500. There might appear to be some growth respect. That means you are saying that is some growth because uh, five years average and four years there is difference. So difference is growth, but estimated future earnings are uncertain. A low estimated earning is 21 would be perhaps 7150 as average calculation for the five years or uh, four years. A high estimated earnings to be 75 or more is just expecting this solution would use the most recent earning figure 75 as the highest estimation is just expecting that though four years average is now 71 500 that it can be um, 75,000 and P ratio just uh, for understanding here two item higher and lower look here p calculated higher that means 75 and lower that four years average 71 500 so is the for five years and taking the seven uh, five and seven is the p ratio here look this seven and here calculated here look here part of 60 percent of 70 is the six to seven dosher is a 10 here look here this is the 10 as the similar market industry so here calculated as the uh, comprehensive lower than 50 percent of 10 so here taking the five so this five is taking here lower one and upper one said the seven p ratio so cal uh, multiply that is get 5,000, uh, 5 lakh 25,000 as 3 lakh 57,500. So, P ratio is valuation method. Here, ROI uh, ratio is here. Return on equity, profit after tax divided by equity multiplied by 100. This way can be calculated. And we have to understand the following business valuation. So, nature and purpose. And how this will be when valuation required, what information required. And share valuation method we know asset base, income earnings base, dividend valuation base, discount cash flow base. So here asset base, historical, replacement, releasable. And income earnings base, P ratio, earning yields method. And dividend, no growth and constant growth. No growth, that means uh, zero growth. Valuation of debt, irrendable, removable, and convertible. And valuation of preference, etc. for the um, business valuation. And if we calculate uh, one value of a share, uh, one uh, that value and divided by a number of share or multiple of the share, then we can get the total value. 
and here the discounting capitalization earning value method multiply earning valuation method book valuation method so basically we have seen uh, that uh, basically three main approach asset approach income approach market approach and uh, profit multiplier also we have seen so here is the all uh, income uh, economic value market value and one thing how farm value increase from that means organization so here farm growth and profitability it's mean that farms value how did it happen product market strategy and financial market policy so product market strategy for the organization operating management how about the management managing revenue and expense how revenue increase and how expense minimize that depend on market uh, it should be effect for the operating management and operating investment managing the working capital and fixed asset so working capital figure working capital based on inventory if we purchase huge inventory and keep it so your working capital require more working capital it has them huge cost so working capital management and fixed asset management also a operating investment activities part and based on uh, accumulating operating management operating investment is come product market strategy and product market strategy here if you see the start uh, is, is the uh, is the professor david m change structure come taken from there and financial market policy financial decision dividend policy and financial investment so financial decision managing the liability and equity and dividend managing the purchases and payout ratio etc financial investment managing uh, uh, that means our uh, uh investment our uh, uh, that means a uh, phase uh, that means a uh, future value uh, p and l etc all manage financial investment and this if we accurately manage the product market and financial market the organizational growth and profitability would be increase and value of the farm can be increase and another way growth and profitability is also help to farm valuation so diversification strategy can sometimes taken sometimes integration strategy and both can help to increase the value of the farm so diversification strategy mean unrelated investment sometimes uh, your one types one line but if you add another item another product another line that would be your diversification so here treated as financial investment and uh, for example at this moment you are in a chemical company and you go for for example garments so it's also diversification if the business was success then it told the farm value would be increased but if fail then decrease so here uh, 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 integration strategy a strategic investment managing subsidiary companies managing associate managing joint venture so at this moment you know lot of companies they have the difference a uh, subsidiary company for example uh, they have a, if uh, you have a bank um, a bank they have the merchant bank they have the um, broker house they have the asset management company they have the equity they have the sme uh, financing uh, the separate um, organization on separate subsidiary so this way can be increase the farm value and managing associate managing the joint venture managing the subsidiary is the strategic investment within the organization within the strategic investment and diversification strategy it help to grow the farm value here some uh, question included here uh, just answer also here you just see it and cost of acquisition here solution here here another one brand value calculation how we can calculate a brand value so here brand value here calculation and here answer is here uh, just uh, let's see before a plus published limited has been approached to another publisher which is interested to buy the copyright of the book financial reporting 
they estimate the value of the copyright the following assumption are made the book is to generate 150000 in after tax cash flow each year from the next 3 years 1 lakh and the subsequent 2 years there are flow of the payment and uh, author royalty promotional expense and production cost about 40% of this cash flow are from the large organization that plays bulk order and consider the predictable uh, stable. The cost of capital applied of the cash flow, 7%. The remaining 60%, here 40%. Here 40% and another 60%, this 60%, total 100%. Cash flow are to the generate public and the segment of the cash flow is considered much more volatile. The cost of capital applied of this cash 10%. So it's the volatile 60%, but 40% more or less fixed, predictable, and the uh, its cost is uh, 7%. Thing. Based on the information given above, estimate the value of the copyright. The, what would be the value of that copyright of that book? That means financial reporting. So here calculated here, look here. The value of the copyright can be estimated this way. Five years. A stable cash flow here 60 60 60 and 40 40 so pb factor 7 percent is come this one and volatile cash flow here five years 1990 90 60 60 pb 10 percent so total come here the value of the copyright is adding both item come five lakh eighteen thousand so the copyright value so this way here another one uh, just uh, try to take it the, if that type of question can come on our one question only one man uh, big size uh, 20 30 marks or 40 marks in our case study so uh, this one and we will uh, later on we will discuss with the our different types of case study so here relationship amount uh, value of the future income uh, what is the relation the value of business value of business so it depends on what is scrap value of tangible asset forced liquidation value of the tangible asset originate uh, liquidity tangible asset value in use of tangible asset value of identifiable tangible asset goodwill value and total value comes business value this way future income of the business and Purpose of the valuation we also seen in uh, previously here uh, uh, statutory, industrial, accounting, finance, etc. Purpose of business. So here, if we see the summary, discounting for cash flow, uh, relative value, and contingency claim value, asset value. This way, we can be able to um, calculate the value. So uh, today, this way we are concluding here, and uh, next uh, class hour would be. The financial information, uh, another part, regulatory framework in Bangladesh. And uh, IS, IFRS, regulatory framework, uh, EPS calculation, professional institutions in Bangladesh, FRC, merger acquisition. That would be our next class topics. So I think today we are going for closing today's sir, class. Sir, this is the company. Motto the tractor company mool motto holo tar object set kora profit attain kora tar pore wealth maximization kora egula kintu apne marketing strategy financial strategy shop kisu pore shop jagai IFRS or IS follow korte wala korte Bangladesh Bank NBR kethre apna badhuta mulo amar badhuta mulo jemon apni SEC er rule e ache badhuta mulo Bangladesh Bank na ei professional body gula thik ache tobe aste aste revolution hocche hobe ebong onek update hocche deshe onek kichu hocche ebong education o onek poriborton ashbe inshallah so today we are going uh, to cl close our class and inshallah we will meet you next week. Uh, Allah Hafiz. Bhalo thakben. Abar dekhaab inshallah. Bhalo thakben sir.